CEO Ronald from Karina Demers. I want to talk to you about an advanced tip, an advanced option that you may be able to implore uh, when you are bowling competitive events. We've got two storm matchups here. They're actually drilled the exact same, but they obviously look a little different. Now the CG is in a different position here, but the CG does not change the performance of the bowling ball. What I want to show you is kind of specifically around the track area. These bowling balls obviously look very, very different. Now, what's interesting is both these balls were both initially finished with a 2000 grit uh, true cut sanding pad. And what you're going to find out pretty quickly here is that this ball is still at 2000, whereas the ball that we have bowled with is now at 4500. So we've had a fairly substantial change in the bowling ball surface. And what's most important about that is this is a tip that you can use. Obviously, you cannot alter the surface of a bowling ball while you are bowling, but there's nothing to say that you can't have two bowling balls at the same surface to start with so that when this bowling ball begins to go longer and hook less, which is what the surface change is going to make it do, you can go back and have a bowling ball that's going to give you that same initial performance. That is something that most bowlers don't think about and don't necessarily even realize happens to them. That's a lot of times why when you get a brand new bowling ball and you go bowl with it for the first week and you're like, man, this ball's great, it hooks a whole lot. And then week two, you don't realize it looks like this. And you go bowl with it and you're like, man, it doesn't hook as much as it used to. I don't understand what's going on. It's a lot to do with the surface change. So what you can do in a tournament situation to take advantage of the new rules that say you can't alter the surface is you can actually have two balls drilled the same and have them have the same surface because we know it's going to change and this is a way to be able to get that same ball motion. Now you say, well, why wouldn't I drill them differently? Could I do it? You could drill them differently. But what I'm telling you is, is that you don't necessarily have to drill them differently to get different ball reactions. Obviously, these balls aren't going to roll the same. Dustin, go ahead and take this ball, throw it once. Take this ball, throw it once, just so we can get a rough idea of the difference. Obviously, it may not be 100% um, because we don't have... Uh, any tracking software, but it's not going to be something that you aren't going to be able to just tell. Obviously, the bowling balls are going to roll different because they are surface different, and they're at a pretty substantial difference, 2,500 grip points. All right, so there's that ball, right? Now we'll grab the other ball. That is the fresh surface. And we'll do our best as a former Team USA member who can repeat shots on command like now and we'll have him throw the uh, freshly surfaced 2000 grit sanded bowling ball and we'll just kind of get a rough idea of the performance difference you're going to be able to get here that ball was wide right but look how much it hooked obviously it hooked a lot more he's missed right we'll have him throw it again but nonetheless the point that i'm trying to make here is this is an advanced tip something that you can do and it gives you a little bit of an edge because you can't alter the surface of the bowling balls while you're bowling. But that's not to say that you can't have two bowling balls that have the same surface and allow the alteration, which is going to happen by the lane and the lane uh, equipment on its own, have that be your vehicle to create different ball motion. So just wanted to be able to give you a little bit of inside information, a little bit of an extra tip, something to consider, especially once you understand that the bowling balls are going to change performance with surface change, this is how you can combat it. That's a better pitch. And obviously the ball is going to hook more. So that's just a good, a good real quick way to show you exactly a tip to be able to make your tournament experience or your league experience a little bit better. You're going to be able to get two different ball motions, even though the balls are drilled the same and they're the same ball, just by having the surface change through use. If you have more questions, need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.